Hi everyone and welcome to part 3 of this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to be downloading some third-party libraries that we will use in next videos. We are also going to set up CMake for these libraries and finally link them to our executable application. So the first library that we need is GLFW, uh, which will be used for creating Windows, uh, OpenGL context, and also for receiving input and event handling. So let's go ahead and download this. So from GitHub, I'm just going to go ahead and download the uh, zip file for this uh, repo. OK. Uh, next library uh, we use is STB. And uh, STB library is basically a collection of uh, header-only libraries for C and C++. Uh, we are going to use this library mainly for image loading and decoding from file and memory and this library also supports all the major uh, image formats such as JPEG, PNG, TGA, and BMP and PSD. So let's go ahead and download this. All right. Okay, so uh, the next library is uh, GLAD, uh, and GLAD is basically an OpenGL loading library. Uh, there are some other OpenGL loading libraries such as uh, GLU, uh, GL3W, but in this video, uh, I've decided to show you how to use GLAD. We are also going to use the GLAD web service to include all the extensions we need for a specific OpenGL version that we are going to use. So. Inside here, I'm not going to use the zip uh, file uh, here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on the web service uh, that is provided here. And once you have this, uh, you want to make sure the language is set to C and C++ and the specification uh, is set to OpenGL. Uh, for the version of uh, GL, uh, we are going to be using 3.3. So let's go ahead and select that. Uh, I also don't need the uh, KHR, so I'm just going to omit this and uh, next thing is I'm going to add all of the extensions to this side. So let's go ahead and click on add all. All right. Um, once we do that, we are just going to click on the generate button to uh, give us the files that we need. So uh, we are going to download the glad.zip. As you can see, there is an include folder here, which has the header file as well as the C file inside the uh, source folder. So let's just go ahead and download this. Okay. The next library that we are going to use is uh, IM GUI. And uh, basically, IM GUI is a, a graphical user interface library for C. So let's go ahead and download this as well. Okay, that's done. And uh, the next library is a uh, GLM, and GLM is uh, basically a header-only C++ math library. So let's go ahead and download this as well. And uh, finally, the last library that we are gonna download is called. Uh, native file dialog, which is a tiny C library that invokes a native uh, file open folder select and save dialogs. All right. Okay, so I think we have all the libraries that we need. Uh, let's go ahead and start by copying these libraries into our external uh, library folder. Okay, so the first directory that we are going to create is GLAD. So let's go ahead and create this. And let's go inside GLAD and create another uh, directory with lowercase. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and also unzip uh, our GLAD zip file. 
okay and what we need is we want to copy the header files that is inside include glad directory And I believe I want to move uh, this file into our uh, GLAD directory with lowercase. So let me go ahead and move this into okay, great. And let me go ahead inside GLAD and Next, we want to copy the source uh, file that is inside the source directory. So let's go ahead and add that as well. Okay, and that's pretty much what we need. All right, so let's go back to external library directory and let's unzip the next library. So it's going to be glf uh, underscore master. So, okay. And let's copy all these files uh, in, let me create a new directory called glfw. Okay. We're gonna copy recursively uh, everything that is inside uh, GLF uh, and the master. So let's go ahead and do that. Next library is GLM. And uh, for GLM library, the only directory that we need is this GLM uh, directory. And that's where we have all the uh, HPP files and everything that we need from this library. So let me go ahead and copy this. Next library is I am GUI. And uh, for I am GUI library, uh, I'm just going to copy all the header and CPP file that are inside this uh, folder. Uh, I don't necessarily need uh, the examples and miscellaneous folder. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, next library is native file dialog master. So let's unzip this. Okay, and inside a uh, native uh, file dialog master, there is a source directory, and inside that there is a include directory which has the header files. So I'm gonna copy the header files 
as well as the rest of the files that are inside the source folder. So let's create a DIR native file. And that. Okay, so I'm gonna copy uh, I'm gonna copy these files first. So And then I'm just going to copy uh, whatever is inside the include folder. Just make sure we have everything so okay great and uh, finally the last library is stb master so let's uh, extract this So I'm just going to call this directory stb image uh, since we are just going to use the image header files from this library. Okay. And inside stb master, uh, there are three files that we are interested uh, stb image, stb image resize, and stb image write. So let's go ahead and copy them over. All right, so uh, I believe we have all the libraries that we need and we are pretty much done with copying our libraries into our external library folder. Now, let's go ahead and set up our uh, CMake and link these libraries to our application. Uh, I also want to mention that I've decided that instead of having separate targets for each libraries, I'm going to simply put all of our third-party libraries under one target called third party lips okay okay so back in sublime let's add the same code for creating our static library so i'm just going to go ahead uh, and copy and paste the same code and let's talk about what we just added here so as you can see we are adding a third uh, party library which is a static library and we are passing uh, the list of sources and include that goes with this library under sources i have uh, two additional uh, variables that list the necessary sources based on the platforms that we are going to run our app okay so as you can see uh, for the mac we also need to pass in this objective c uh, sources uh, as well as uh, this definition that uh, sets a flag called GLF uh, W Coco. Uh, for a GLF uh, W library, we also need to pass in this GLF W Win32 for the Windows platform as well. So after that, uh, we are going to add uh, the target include directories and we are going to pass in the necessary include files that we need uh, for this um, static library. Uh, we also need to have some additional libraries uh, on the Mac uh, and I'm simply going to go ahead and uh, save everything inside this Mac OS uh, libraries variable. 
all right so uh, I think that's pretty much what we need to do inside external libraries uh, setup CMake and let's go ahead and uh, change our CMake inside 3MF app target as well okay so uh, first thing we need is we are going to change the target include directories that we have inside this CMake file. So let me go ahead and copy and paste the code. So as you can see, uh, uh, our target needs to include all the uh, include files from uh, our third party libraries, which we did uh, right now. And the next thing that we need to do is uh, we also need to link to uh, this third library that we just created. So let's go ahead and copy and paste the code for that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this. All right. So on Windows, uh, we are uh, linking against uh, lib3mf library as well as third party libs. Uh, but on the Mac uh, side, we also need to link against these additional variables that we created inside external libraries setup. All right. So I think we are pretty much done with uh, setting up our uh, CMake uh, in our application. And uh, let's go ahead and run CMake uh, to see if we are compiling our application and there are no errors in our CMake files. All right, so let's run CMake. Okay, and the configuration and generations are done. So let's go ahead inside Visual Studio. And as you can see, we now have a new target called uh, Third Party Libs, which basically creates a static library for all of our third party libraries. Great. So uh, before wrapping up this video, let's uh, do a quick test uh, to see if we can actually use the library we just added. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up uh, OpenGL Math library and write a simple code to see if our program compiles and links properly. So inside main, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, add some header files from GLM. Okay. And let me also add uh, iOS stream. Just put it here. So I'm just adding a GLM, GLM.HPP, uh, as well as uh, some uh, experimental header files that are inside GTX, uh, just for the sake of uh, testing. Uh, let me go ahead and comment out this code. And let's go ahead and add this code for GLM library. So basically, we are uh, creating two uh, vectors, and we simply want to add them and print out the result. So let's go ahead and print out this. Great. So as you can see, we were able to use a GLM library to add two vectors together. Great, so uh, hopefully you found this video useful and this should conclude part 3 of this video series. Uh, I hope to see you in the next video and thanks again.